Hey guys, welcome to the video today. In today's video, I'm going to go through some troubleshooting steps if the Logitech K400 Plus keyboard and touchpad combination is not working. But before we begin, I wanted to let you know a couple of things. First, make sure that you're wearing the proper safety equipment and take all safety precautions. And second, I do have other videos on this Logitech K400 Plus keyboard and touchpad combination that I'll link at the end of this video. And if you're interested in half time, please check those videos out. Okay, this is the wireless USB receiver, and I'm just going to move this to the side for now. Okay, now we're going to make sure that the keyboard is turned off, so it's currently in the off position. And then I'm going to turn the keyboard over and gently set it down like this. We're going to check to make sure that the batteries are installed correctly. This is the battery cover and there's two arrows right here and I'm just going to place my thumb on those arrows and then gently remove the battery cover like so. And this is a plastic tool that I got when I ordered a battery replacement kit for one of our cell phones and I'm going to use this to remove the batteries. Okay, so I'm going to use this plastic tool to gently lift the first battery out of the battery compartment like so. And then I'm just going to place this battery here for now. And then I'm going to move this battery forward and then lift this battery out of the battery compartment and we'll place this battery right here for now. Okay, and inside of the battery compartment, it tells us what type of batteries and the correct direction for the batteries. So this is what you want to check, that your batteries were installed the correct direction. And this keyboard uses two AA batteries, and on this battery, the plus sign is on this side, and then on this battery, the plus sign is also on this side. So this is where you can verify what type of batteries and the correct direction of the batteries for your keyboard. And if it doesn't say anything in there, refer to your owner's manual. And if your batteries were installed the correct direction, another thing that you can try is replacing them with new batteries. And if you do replace the old batteries with new batteries, make sure that you store the old batteries in a safe place until you can take them to the proper recycling facility. Okay, so these batteries are still okay, so I'm going to reinstall them, making sure to install them the correct direction. So here is the minus sign on this battery, so I'm going to place the minus sign side of the battery into the battery compartment first, and then gently place the battery into the battery compartment like so, and then move the battery backwards like this. Okay, and now I'm going to take the second battery and here is the minus sign on this battery and I'm going to place that into the battery compartment first like so and then gently press backwards allowing the front part of the battery to go down into the battery compartment like so. And then I'm going to gently press on each of the batteries making sure that they're secured into the battery compartment. Okay, and now I'm going to replace the battery cover. I'm just lining this up on the keyboard like so, and then gently pressing this into the keyboard until it snaps into place like so. Okay, and now we're going to take the wireless USB receiver and install this into a USB port. And when you do install this, make sure that you install it the correct direction and that it's installed all the way into place. Okay, we're going to turn the keyboard on now. Here is the on-off switch. We're going to turn this to the on position, and now we can test the keyboard out and see if it's working. Okay, and if that didn't work, we're going to turn the keyboard off. We're going to turn the on-off switch to the off position. Okay, and now we're going to remove the wireless USB receiver from the USB port and install it into a different USB port. And just make sure that it's installed correctly and all the way into place. Okay, and now we're going to turn the keyboard on. So we're going to turn the on off switch to the on position and then you can test the keyboard out and see if it's working. Okay, and the next thing that I'm going to show you is the Logitech Unifying Software, and you can download this from the official Logitech website. And you'll need to read through the license agreement, and if you decide to accept it, you'll end up at this screen here. So I'm going to use the touchpad on my laptop to go down to Advanced and select that. And then here is what shows up, and here is the keyboard. So what I'm going to do is highlight that and then select unpair. 
And then I'm going to select where it says pair a new device. Okay, and then what this screen is telling us is to restart the device you want to connect to your computer, and then it has the steps below that. So what I'm going to do is turn the on-off switch on the keyboard to the off position, and then wait for a few seconds, and then turn it back to the on position, and the keyboard should connect to the unifying receiver, which we see it did. Okay, and if you look right here where it says Keyboard K400 Plus, there's an icon next to it. And if you type on the keyboard, another icon will flash, letting you know that the keyboard is working. All right, guys, and if none of those steps worked, you can turn the keyboard off and remove the wireless USB receiver and try setting the keyboard up on a different laptop or computer if you have one to see if that works. You can also try reaching out to Logitech to see if they have any additional troubleshooting steps that you can try. All right, guys, that's just about it for this video, and I hope that it was helpful, and thank you so much for watching. And like I said earlier, I do have other videos on the Logitech K400 Plus keyboard and touchpad that I'll link at the end of this video. And if you're interested in half time, please check those videos out. Thank you guys again so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and I hope to see you guys in the next video. Have a good one. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and if you have the time, check out these other great videos.